a growing number of drivers want to ride high in the air and be surrounded by surplus sheet metal. Lower, smaller autos, on the other hand, are intrinsically more responsive and satisfying, as enthusiasts know. The current Audi S3 is a good example of that truism. The S3, Audi's smallest and most affordable S model, skips the 2021 model year, but returns in 2022 with greater power, sharper styling, and a redesigned cabin. The shrink-to-fit S3 seems neat and maneuverable, in contrast to today's fleet's rising gigantism, little it's over an inch longer, less than an inch taller, and less than an inch wider than before. The size and packaging are reminiscent of the highly appreciated B5 generation Audi S4, which defeated the BMW M3 and Mercedes-Benz C43 AMG in the Y2K period. Despite being the cheapest Audi with a S badge, the S3 is a speedy car. The vehicle now produces 306 horsepower from its turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine, an increase of 18 horsepower over the previous S3, and more than 50% more than the A3. And torque of 295 pound-feet is available from 3,000 rpm, a significant improvement over the A3, which is 221. The S3 accelerates to 60 miles per hour in 4.3 seconds after being strengthened, down from 4.5 previously. At 108 miles per hour, it also completes the quarter mile in 12.9 seconds. With those figures, the S3 is in a virtual tie with the BMW, Mercedes, and Cadillac. All-wheel drive is standard, which aids in putting the power down and preventing torque steer. The engine is paired with a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, which provides quick changes and smooth, lurch-free engagement at low speeds. In dynamic mode, the engine produces a distinct exhaust tone that differs from the conventional bleeding of a direct-injected four-cylinder. The S3 has a 0.6-inch lower ride height than the A3 thanks to its standard sport suspension. The ride quality is significantly better than the flinty ride found in the BMW and Mercedes offerings, and somewhat better than the S3's platform mate, the Volkswagen, even on the larger, 19-inch wheels shot in low-profile Bridgestone Potenza S005 summer tires. The new S3 cabin features a lot of gloss black trim and a lot of hard plastic, with a lot of visual panache thanks to the sharply angular design motif and several screens. The highly adjustable 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster included in the technology package is one of our favorites, a 10.3-inch display is standard. The new car's 10.1-inch central touchscreen is not only bigger than the old one, but it's also built into the dash, rather than pushed up like a billboard. Although the home screen may display three functions at once, the interaction has some flaws. A console-mounted, iPod-style inlay wheel has taken the place of the volume knob, which also skips tracks. We miss the old car's rotary controller due to the lack of a tuning knob. Our test car's $46,895 base price ballooned to $56,840 after it gorged itself on the options buffet. However, the beginning price is comparable to a Golf R. The VW has more power, better handling, and a manual transmission. Perhaps you prefer the S3's more premium design, superior ride, and less terrible driver interface. G-O-O-D, driving, things come in little packages in any case. For this and much more, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.